When I found out that I needed to add an electrolyte to my earth battery in order to get something somewhat workable, I realized that the only thing I'm really getting from the ground to keep it going was a moisture. And I was also talking about connecting more in series so I could add the voltage up and that you just can't stick more electrodes in the ground even if they had their own electrolyte because it wouldn't be electrically insulated from each other. The voltages won't add up because it, it just doesn't work that way. When I decided that it seems like I'm only building a crystal cell and all I really need to get from the ground is moisture, I remember a building material that repels water but allows water vapor to pass through. Liquid water can't pass through it, but vapors can. And I thought maybe if I made individual cells and used this building material as a membrane to keep them electrically insulated from each other, I could stick them in the ground and hook them all up in series and they only need the moisture from the ground. So then I went to building individual cells and wrapping them with this building material. The smaller cells that I've been making have the same electrode material as the earth battery out in the ground. Uh, the same magnesium rod covered in alum and the same type of carbon block water filter. And in between the magnesium and the filter on the inside. I have a filler material mixed with an electrolyte. Each one of these has a different filler right now because I'm still experimenting. And this stuff right here is that membrane I was talking about, that building material. What it's called, it's called Tyvek and it's a house wrap material. You wrap the exterior of your house with it so it allows your house to breathe. It repels water but allows water vapor to pass through it. And this is what keeps these cells electrically insulated from each other. And I got the bottom sealed up too. Now I'll take some readings over here to show how this is working. This is just a bucket filled up with dirt and I saturate it with water. Even though these little cells are like a quarter of the size of the earth battery I have out in the ground, the performance is actually just a little bit better. You know, the electrodes are closer together. I think that's what's making the difference. And I'll go ahead and take some readings, some voltage readings on these right now. So over here is oh, 1.84. I think they're all pretty similar, even though they have different, backwards, different uh, filler electrolytes in between them. 1.8. And 1.8, almost 1.85. Now, this is just a bucket of moist dirt, and sticking them in there, they're still electrically insulated from each other. And I'll show you how the voltages stack up just like you would expect when you hook them in the series. I got the negative hooked to the positive here. I'll take a reading from the negative and the positive over here. And we've got 3.67 volts, so there's no shorting or loss of power in between them, even though they're both in this bucket of moist dirt. And now I'll go ahead and take some amp readings. Remember, this is just the shorted through the meter, so this is the maximum I'd be going through here. I'll take some individual readings first. Sometimes when you check the amp reading when you short it like this, it'll first drop, but then it starts building up. This can go up like another 40 milliamps, I think. It's still, it's, this one's still going up. I'll try this one over here. 14. Kind of the same thing, they're still going up. I'll try them in series. They jump around a little bit. And this one over here. That one's going up too a little bit. As soon as, it seems like as soon as you short them, they start to go up. 
One thing you have to remember about this uh, Tyvek house wrap is that it also allows the water vapor to pass out through this side. So if I just let this sit out here, it would eventually dry the battery out. But when they're in this bucket with moist dirt, everything stays moist so they don't dry out. And it seems to be working. Now I'll take all these outside and I'll hook them up to the earth battery. I'll stick all these in the ground too and connect them all up in the series. First I'll take a reading on the earth battery. These are the wire leads. I got it just run up to the barn because I'm going to run it in through the window. But I got the positive and negative here marked out. And I'll just hook them up to the meter so you can see what's going on down there. And that 1.68 volts, not quite as good as the, the cells I was making. I'll check the current. Uh, 80, 80, 86 milliamps. So I think that came up a little bit since the other video I made. Drop it down. 85 point. Yeah, I guess maybe it depends on how I, how I hold it. But now I'll get these in the ground and hook everything up in the series. I'll keep them spaced out maybe uh, two inches looks like. I'm gonna get these in and then I got some water here I'll dump around them to saturate the ground. It's freezing every night now so I had to wait a little bit before I could even do this because the ground was froze. But the, the sun came out now and it thawed it out. And it's not too bad out here, but doing this kind of experiments out in the dirt like here is coming to an end. You might have a day or two. And then it looks like the weather forecast is called for freezing temps from now on. Well, there's like a whole gallon of water. Let that soak down just a little bit. Water is all soaked down, so I'll hook up the earth battery. The leads from that positive to negative. And negative there. Turn this on. Seven point one seven volts, so it's working. And I'll try the milliamp reading, probably be less than what we had inside because the earth battery ain't quite as powerful as these little cells. See, it's going down, but then it starts going up again. I think some of these other batteries are just pushing juice through the earth battery, so it's coming up 132 milliamps. I don't know if you can see this. Coming up. So, that was my solution to hooking up ground batteries but it's a little bit of cheating there but it works I mean the ground will keep the these cells moist I'm not going to dig these down I got a lot more experimenting to do so these won't be getting in the ground this year the ground will be froze pretty shortly I'm going to pull these out and take them back inside if I want to hook them in a series I can take a bucket and just put a bunch of dirt in them and keep them uh, damp that way but anyway there's 
that's how you can build up the voltage in series. I'll make another video on how exactly I make these cells. So we'll see you in that video and that'll be the end of this one.